A week and a half after a bullet went through this door, striking and injuring two children on I-880 in San Lorenzo, and less than two months after a truck driver believes a bullet shattered out his window and nearly hit him along I-880 in Oakland, Governor Gavin Newsom and CHP both say that there is actually improvement when it comes to highway shootings. All new numbers show that statewide last year confirmed freeway shootings are down. Freeway deaths are down and freeway injuries are down. 16 people died in California highway shootings in 2021. That number dropped to 10 in 2022 and just four last year. Are these numbers great to see? Absolutely. But that doesn't mean we're stopping, right? It, it's just, it's an indication that what we're doing is working. Officer Andrew Barclay says in the Bay Area, highway shooting numbers have also dropped. He says the highest number of cases involving these types of crimes are in Alameda and Contra Costa County. He credits partnerships between different law enforcement agencies and the information exchanged. Being able to find trends over multiple years of, you know, for example, locations where we see more shootings, days of the week, time of the day, things like that. What that allows us to do is adjust how we deploy resources. While confirmed statewide shootings dropped from 349 in 2022 to 274 in 2023, I spoke with the mother of five-year-old Eliana, who was shot and killed along I-880 in Fremont last April. She says these crimes are still being committed and there needs to be stronger penalties for those who commit the crimes. Suspects in this case are still awaiting trial. Caltrans confirms that 200 highway cameras are up across the Bay Area, but not fully operational until spring. Hercules Mayor Dan Romero pushed hard for camera years ago before they were installed in his area along I-80. He says these shootings are still happening and more local and state lawmakers need to demand that the cameras start being used. A camera sitting up on, along the freeway does us no good unless that information is going back to the police department. That, there could be a thousand cameras, but if they're not operating and giving information back to the police department, they're just a camera. As to those injured in freeway shootings, statewide that number dropped only slightly from 74 in 2022 to 68 last year. Now, a hope that those numbers continue to trend down. J.R. Stone, ABC 7 News.